Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I'm here at George Washington University campus in the schoolyard where these great students are representing all of us. These students are representing the best of our country and our world. They have a clear conscience, they have a pure heart, and they're calling for justice. They're calling for the United States to end the apartheid policies that is benefiting and fueling genocide against the people of Palestine, against Gaza. And it behooves us to take notice of what the students are saying and not crampling, not, not trying to suppress them and repress them. And so the second point is that they represent this nonviolent resistance to divest, to disclose, to see what our universities are doing to support the apartheid, racist, and genocide policies against the Palestinian people. And so for the establishment to claim that this is anti-Semitism, or this is violence, or this is somehow making people feel unsafe. No, it's not making them feel unsafe, but it can make you feel uncomfortable because we have to get out of our comfort zone of appeasement and acquiescence to this negative justice that Martin Luther King said, acquiescing to oppression. We want positive just we want positive peace with justice. And the last thing I have to say is that if George Washington were here, he would be with the demonstrators and he would be called a terrorist. The British called him a terrorist. And so anybody that's trying to use this game of calling these kids, these students, these wonderful leaders of ours as terrorists, it's not going to work anymore. We have called your bluff and we will stand for justice regardless of what you're going to try to do to us. You will defame us, you will try to imprison us, you will incarcerate us. All of America is in prison right now by the lies that our policies are promoting. And we will not stop until we see a change in those policies and or a change in the leadership. So it represents what we want, and that is justice.